Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in the Sunturn Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change uh, the texture and colors of your materials. Now this has been a much requested tutorial. Um, I recently did how to custom paint on your own materials and that was another highly uh, suggested tutorial for me to do. And so today when I was checking comments, I actually found a conversation between two subscribers. Um, one of them put in a link to a good tutorial, uh, text-based of course, on how to change the materials. So w what I mean by how to change the materials is if you play in Russia, there's a different color green for the, uh, the sand or for the grass. If you play in Washington, the, gra the sand is actually more of a dirt or stone type color. So there is actually a way to change these and I've been asked this many times. So let's get into it. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is to navigate to your unturned files. So the best way to do this, uh, the way that I suggest people do this, is right click on unturned inside your Steam library, go to property, go to local files and browse local files. Now from this point on as long as you leave this open you won't need to get back to this. So now over here we've got our maps. Now this should contain all the maps you've ever created or all the maps you've downloaded or have played on stuff like that. This is also the place where you're gonna have um, all your map data. So if you're a map maker you should become very familiar with this. So over here I actually have uh, a test map. This is the same test map that uh, I usually do my tutorials on. And um, I'm going to show you guys some of the files that control what uh, type of material, color, and stuff looks like. So over here in terrain, we're going to have everything related to terrain tools. Now as you guys can see, these are like the rendering of the maps. I don't have much going on in my map, so it's very simple. But over here we do have two specific files, details.unity3d and materials.unity3d. Now in order to change the color of the materials in your map, you need to use this file and actually replace it with another file. So back over here in our maps folder, um, let's say we want to have uh, the color scheme of Russia. Now I haven't actually played the Russia map, but I know for a fact that the colors and stuff are a lot different of the grass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy their uh, file, copy that, you can do control C as well, and paste it over here. Now I'm going to replace it because I want to use Russia's color theme. Now let's load back up unturned and theoretically, I've not tried this yet, theoretically um, I will have the new colors of the all the textures inside the the map so let's go back into test map and now let's check it out and um, it seems to have changed for sure let's see I'm not sure this is the normal grass I've not played Russia so there we are so yes this for sure is the normal grass color uh, we've got the normal dirt color as well let's bake this high quality okay as we guys can see it worked so we went from normal PEI colors to Russia colors and as you guys can see the new textures and patterns and stuff are the same over here as well so um, I'm gonna test a few of these out we've got the new sand color which is like the nice pebbly rock and stone uh, the road looks to be about the same leaves is definitely different um, also something that changed is the names of these also changed so you know I, I wasn't sure quite how much was going to change but as you guys can see quite a lot does change grass is still there it's just a different color uh, farm doesn't it farm seems to be what's on the ground right now um, dirt is here doesn't look much like dirt it looks more like stone and then we've also got dead which is also some sort of grass but it looks a little radiated on something like that so anyway guys um, hopefully that's pretty clear and easy um, I'll run you through the steps one more time just to make sure you guys get it so um, we've got our test map here. All you got to do to get into that is double click on that folder. You got all the files in there. If we want to use the Russia color scheme, actually I, I will set it back to the PEI color scheme. Let's exit, exit out completely. I like to exit out completely. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but let's go back to PEI. So if we want the PEI color scheme, we go back to terrain, 
we go to materials.unity3d, copy that, paste it into the terrain files of my test map, replace it, and when we open back up tur unturned and uh, check that map, it should be the uh, new folder for that. Now, of course, guys, there's a lot more of these Unity.3D files, and each one of them is going to do something a little different. So, in terms of charts.unity3d, I think that changes how charts are rendered, what they end up looking like. If we look at materials, uh, not not materials, details.unity.3d, that'll probably change how the flowers and stuff, like if they're using different textures for those, you can replace that file with another maps file and change those. In terms of spawns, uh, there's not much there. Level, there's not much there. Environment, there should be some. There's like roads.unity3d, ambience.unity3d. Um, those will all change the types of colors and the textures on the roads. If you want to get the the Russia roads, replace that. Go to the Russia map. Go to, I think it was environment. No. Level. Nope. You know, it was environment. There's just a lot in here. So we're going to go to roads.unity3d. We can replace that there and have Russia roads. So, you know, hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to customize your map. So the last thing I want to do is just go back to our test map and check that it went back to PEI colors. And as you guys see, it did go back to PEI colors. So this is reliable. It works every time. And now if you guys want to do this, you can. So anyway guys, hopefully uh, this was a good tutorial for you guys, you understood it, and you guys can now do this yourselves. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see some more, subscribe. And one last thing I want to mention is I will have a link to the original post in the description. Uh, here it is, I'll have this link right up here, and you guys can check out the original if you want to. Anyway guys, I will see you later.